And I've been with Scott Walker in Wisconsin yeah. studying. I've been studying with Scott Walker in Wisconsin. Scott Walker did it. We've got to take on the power of the government union bosses. Governor Walker is proposing some dramatic changes to state employee unions. Raging at the new Republican governor, Scott Walker. He's demanding workers pay more. Most infuriating for union employees, the governor wants to strip away nearly all of their bargaining rights. All it really did was just take away people's rights. I think a lot of people lost hope. We have no say in working conditions. We haven't been able to bargain for wages. Seniority and experience means nothing anymore. My personal paycheck right now runs about $200 less per paycheck. Every two weeks, $200 less. And that hurts. Immediately lost about $5,000 per year with the way the things went with Act 10. It's a real thing. That 15% is the difference between paying your bills and not paying your bills. Look what's happening here in Wisconsin. Illinois, you don't want that over there. Scott Walker did it. We've got to take on the power of the government union bosses. We have to do what Ronald Reagan did with the air traffic controllers. And we sort of have to do a do-over and shut things down for a little while. That's what we're going to do. take on the power of the government union bosses inside the government. By their nature, they're immoral. By their nature, they're corrupt. I'm going to take the government unions on like they've never been taken on. Whatever you have to do, you have to stop Bruce Rauner. You do not want to become Wisconsin. You might have had bad governors before, but anybody who's looking up to Scott Walker is the last thing you want to see in your state. When someone says that they're an advocate of Scott Walker's policies, they're basically an advocate for failure. If I heard anybody say that Scott Walker was their role model, you got to do everything you possibly can. Everything so that that man doesn't set foot in that office. You just can't let that happen. Don't be complacent. You have to protect what's yours, because if you don't protect it, somebody will take it away from you. Call people, drop literature, talk to people, educate people. Talk to your family members, make sure they get out to vote, and make sure they talk to their friends and family members to get out and vote. And rank and file members, they have to get out there. You have to knock on the doors, you have to do the work, because if you don't do the work before the election, it doesn't matter after the election. If you don't stand up now, the consequences later are gonna be much worse.